In this video, I'm going to show you how you can work out the area of compound shapes by breaking them down into simpler shapes. Um, first of all, we have to understand what we mean by compound shapes. And, and when I talk about compound shapes, I mean shapes which are not really sort of familiar shapes that you can uh, work out their area with a particular formula. They're more shapes that have been built up from smaller shapes, more simple shapes. Um, a quick check might be to have a little run through of all the shapes that you are familiar with, like a square, a rectangle, a rhombus, a parallelogram, a triangle, a trapezium, or a circle. And all of these shapes have got formulas that we can just use straight away to work out that area. But if we look, for example, at this shape, this is not one of those on that list. It's not a rectangle because it's not got four sides. It's not a triangle or a trapezium or a circle. It's a sort of strange shape made up of other bits. And when you see a shape like this, which is not one of your standard shapes, um, what you need to do is break it down a little bit. You need to add some lines onto your diagram so that you can split this compound shape into smaller bits that you do know how to find the area of. So I'm going to choose to put a line down here. Now hopefully you can see that splits this into two rectangles and I'm going to draw out this one here separately like that and it's 6 by 7 and then I'm going to draw this one out here and notice how I've just actually physically separated them so I can remind myself that I'm going to do the area of both and then add them up. So this smaller one has a height of 4 centimeters but not sure what its width is. Some people might write 10 at this point, but 10 is the width of the whole shape. So you have to be really careful when you're working with compound shapes, and you have to try to think through all of the different um, possibilities. One possibility is that it's 10 centimeters, but just check that. It's not 10 centimeters, that's all the way along. I've got to find this distance here, the width of the small rectangle. How can I do that? Well, since these are all right angles, all these corners are right angles, um, I think that means that this 10 centimeters must be made up from this 6 centimeters along here, and then this gap here must make up the 10 centimeters. So the gap here has got to be 4 centimeters. Just check that you understand that. The 6 centimeters here on this side of the rectangle must correspond to 6 centimeters here, and the 4 centimeters here corresponds to 4 centimeters here. And therefore, together, that 6 and that 4 make up the total of 10. Now let's work out the areas separately. The area of this one is the length times the width. The area of this one is the length times the width, because it's a rectangle. Or in this case, it's a square, a special type of rectangle. And then we need to add those two together. And the answer is 58 centimeters squared. Let's have a look at this second one. This is meant to be, I don't know, like a, a card that's had a hole punched out of it, and we've got to work out the area. It says the circle has diameter two centimeters. Calculate the shaded area. So this shape is made by getting the big sort of square piece of card, 8x8, eight eight, and then getting rid of some of that area. 
so getting rid of or sort of punching out that circle is going to be a subtraction of some of the area so we're going to do the area of the square and then we're going to subtract the area of the circle The area of the square is 8 by 8. Which is 64. And the area of the circle is pi r squared. Now in this case, you would hold the diameter of the circle, which is 2. The area of the circle needs the radius but you were given the diameter. If you remember, the relationship between the radius and the diameter, the diameter goes all the way across the circle through the centre, the radius just goes halfway across the circle from the centre. So you were told that this was two centimetres, you need to use one centimetre for the radius. So this is pi times 1 times 1. That's 1 squared. So we have 64 minus pi. Type that on the calculator. And you get 60.86 to two decimal places. And that is, again, centimeters squared. Okay, last one I'm going to show you. Looks a little bit like a side view of a house. And again, this is a compound shape. Remember, it's not on the list of familiar basic shapes, the ones that we know the formula for. So we can't use a single formula for this shape because it's not one of these. It's not a square, rectangle, rhombus, or parallelogram. It's not a triangle, it's not a trapezium, it's not a circle. It's something else. So what we need to do is chop this into two or more smaller shapes, familiar shapes. I'm going to do that by putting a straight line across there. And then you can see we have a triangle and a rectangle. So I've just separated those out on the diagram below. Let's have a look at the rectangle first. The rectangle, I think, is 16 along the base, and its height is 7. Now let's have a look at the triangle. The triangle is also 16 across the base, because this being a rectangle, opposite sides are equal. And the height now of this triangle has got to be this gap here. Hasn't it? If you imagine that this was a house, this might be where your guttering was, seven metres above the uh, above the ground. And then the very top of the roof is ten metres above the ground. That means that the roof has a height of three metres, because the seven and the three have to total up to make the ten. So now I'll split my shape into two smaller, more familiar shapes. I can use their formulas. This is a triangle, so I have to use the right formula, half base times height. Okay, now half base times height, 16 times 3 makes 48. And then you half it to make 24. That would be one way of doing it. I'm going to half the base first and do 8 times 3, which is 24. It's a bit easier to do that way. The area of this one is a rectangle, so I use the same, the correct formula, base times height, no half this time, and that's 7 times 16, and I think that's, what, 70 plus 42, 112? 
check that. Yes. 112 meters squared. So the total area. Remember, you have to add them up to find the total area of the compound shape. The total area is 24 plus 112. 136 meters squared.